Super Dave here with another Super Dave review. Super Dave here with another exciting Masterverse Revelation figure. And today we're looking at one that's been hard for me to get a hold of around my parts, Trap Jaw. Not only Trap Jaw, but Trap Jaw Deluxe, complete with his motherboard outfit, a part of the motherboard gimmick that they used in the Revelation show with Triclops being the cult leader. And yes, Trap Jaw was a part of that. You have that awesome bookend artwork on the side. That's really cool looking. And then you have some more awesome artwork on the back. That's really cool. And check out that bio card if you'd like to read that bio for Trap Jaw. You certainly can now. But let's go ahead and break this guy open and check him out. And here is our newly renovated Snake Mountain under the leadership of the motherboard, and here's our cult leader himself, Triclops, gathered together with his followers to see one of Triclops' henchmen, and that's right, it is Trapjaw. We're first gonna take a look at his accessories. And first of all, our Trap Jaw comes with an open palm type hand, gesturing hand. He also comes with a weapon holding hand on this left side because his right side has the mechanical arm, complete with his blaster there. He also comes with a hook and a claw type attachment. You see those little side hooks on the side of these equipment type weapons because they can hook although awkwardly, to this belt that also is removable, so that could count as an accessory. Also, our trap jaw comes with this cult leader type outfit, or cult follower, I guess would be a better way of saying it here for our trap jaw, because he has this plastic robe, as well as that cloth undergarment robe, and then a belt that holds it all together there. And so that rounds out his accessories, now let's take a look at our Trap Jaws articulation. Bringing our Trap Jaw in a little closer to take a look at his head sculpt here, he's gonna be able to look up about that much. He's gonna be able to look down about that much. He doesn't get a whole lot of pivot at all. He will be able to turn side to side with that head. And yes, that jaw does open. It has that kind of a goofy look that many have talked about there. Uh, Hordak MX has an awesome alternative head there. If you want to check him out on Instagram, Hordak MX. But there is an awesome jaw that closes there. And I think it looks better right there at about right there. So it doesn't show that tongue sticking out <laughs> kind of situation. But overall, I think it's a good head sculpt. All right, going on to the arms. He does get 360. He has bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, although this non-movable, it's molded or glued on permanently, does get in the way of the girth of his bicep here. It don't go quite 90 degrees, but he does have swivel and hinges at the wrist here. And then moving on to the right side, he has that mechanical arm. They will go out about that far. This one goes out a little further than the mechanical arm because it hits that mechanical plate on his chest here, but you can see it gets a good amount there. Uh, as good as you need there, but he also has 360 here, bicep swivel, a single jointed elbow on this side, but his weapons will swivel, but he's still able to get better than 90 there on this side, even though it's a single joint because of the mechanical function there. It looks really nice. It's kind of a combination of uh, lighter gun metal, gun metal over here and some gunmetal trim and then almost a shimmering type black or dark gunmetal up in this section. It's kind of a two-tone type situation, but it looks good. As far as his torso, it's kind of limited. He's not going to be able to crunch very much forward and his back motion is basically going to be uh, more of a sitting up straight like we've seen before. 
doesn't really turn much here either, nor go side to side. So it's a very limited torso compared to some. It does have the swivel at the waist. His belt is removable, so it kind of has that, you know, classic look there. And then you can cover it up with that bone and skull and crossbone look there in the middle. Going on to his legs here, he's able to get full splits. He also has thigh rotation here. He has double jointed knees. This giant knee pad kind of gets uh, awkward looking with a scoop because it does not move. It'd been nice if they had put a you know hinge there so that would have moved or floated. But he does have a uh, boot cut right there under there as well as the ability to go full tiptoes, goes up. And then he has the ability to do rockers with the peg hole in the bottom of his boot. So pretty good articulation. He'll kick about that much forward, kick just a little bit to the back there. So overall, pretty good articulation of what we have seen with our Masterverse line. So he's looking good. Now let's go ahead and equip him with some of these weapons on that mechanical arm. And then we'll take a look at him with his cult follower type robe so with this blaster you just pop it off here and the hook on mine goes on pretty decently you can pop that one on and rotate it but the um, claw was a little bit harder I actually had to use one of my tools to kind of open that hole up a little bit so that it would actually go in mine would not go on before I did that but there it claws clamps right on there well and uh, looks good so you can see how that works and as I was mentioning it's kind of awkward to look here but you can clamp those on the side but they just kind of stick out uh, you know weird there on uh, on that kind of situation I guess you could tilt it back a little bit looks a little better that way I guess um, but uh, there you have how there you go that's how you would store those weapons and attach them cool taking a look at his robe so you would unvelcro this under garment part and just carry it through uh, the arms on the front then velcro it back together on the back because I think we can just lo leave that belt on it's fine Possibly, I don't know. We may have to take it off. Go ahead and pop that head off and take your rubber, the harder part of the garb. Oh, yeah, it'll stay on there. And I believe this will go around the whole thing. Let's see. Yes, it will. I believe. Yeah, there's actually indentions on the back for it to do so. You can kind of see them there. You see that where it goes, it's like an indention. So you can actually wrap that around and it works pretty well okay so i did have to end up going back and removing this underneath belt here it just you could have done it but it's just too tight and it looked too bulky there so it does fit a lot better and strap on the back a lot better if you remove that belt first okay so we'll go ahead and put his head back on here and we'll go ahead and put this hook on his mechanical arm get an idea of what he looks like in his cult following outfit there kind of looks goofy kind of looks weird but that's the way it's supposed to go kind of see him there all right that's him So now you see him in his outfit. Now let's do some comparisons. And there's our trap jaw next to our Triclops cult leader, as well as our Revelation Faker right there. And they are looking awesome together. Very cool. You can see the difference in Triclops outfit versus our trap jaws outfit i think the belt is a really neat touch actually really cool and here's our trap jaw next to our classics blast attack 
which was in the Revelation cartoon. And he's looking pretty good beside our trap jaw and our triclops. And you can see that his head is bigger and kind of a bulkier look, not quite as tall, but it fits in well, I think. And there is a review up of him on my channel as well, Blast Attack. And here's a look at our classics trap jaw next to our Revelation Masterverse trap jaw here. And like we've seen before, the Revelation figures are a tad taller as well as our classics heads are a tad larger. And also you can see in that blaster, there's more detail with that blue trim as well as on the chest plate there part, a little bit of a blue trim on there, whereas we don't get that on the Masterverse figures, but still I think it looks good. You can see how you can hook his hook on his belt on this one. This one it gets out of the way a little bit more because the loop is turned a different direction compared to on the Revelation. And uh, you can definitely see a difference in the skin tone, which this Classics one comes with a change of outfits as well, so you can make him look like Cronus. That's before he gotten his, you know, damaged parts here, where before he lost his arm and lost his face or jaw and had to have a, tra a uh, mechanical jaw. And you can see here as well, if we zoom in here a little closer, instead of a tongue, you kind of look like, you know, ripped off bottom of a face going on underneath that mechanical jaw of the classics. Whereas on this one, you just have kind of a tongue uh, sticking out there on his damaged face. So you kind of get the idea of the inspiration of this, whereas this one looks a little bit more realistic. Like this is like pure underneath the jaw ripped off guts <laughs> kind of thing. Whereas this one's just a, like a goofy tongue sticking out. All right. And if you're interested in a head swap, here is the Classics head attached to our Revelation body, trap jaw body. And I'm telling you, I really like that head sculpt on this body. I think I like it even better than the one that it came with. And there's the Revelation head sculpt again. And I, I'm just telling you, I think it looks good on here. It may be a little large, but overall, I think it fits. I think it works. Um, I mean, it looks phenomenal. I think it looks good. Now, you do have to heat up that socket under the head because the ball joint on the Revelation body is a tad larger. And so if you heat, it up, heat up that head socket with a hair dryer, you will be able to pop it on there. Just be careful with it. But I think that looks fabulous. Cool. And here's a look at our Club Grayskull trap jaw, which looks like he stepped right out of the filmation, uh, you know, show from the 80s. And uh, he's looking good, but you can tell a big difference in the details that are in the classics as well as in this Revelation trap jaw. Really cool. You remember, and I do have a review up of this Club Grayskull filmation trap jaw. His blaster you do have parts that swap out but you don't have a hinge so you can't bend up that blaster uh, separate from his upper part of the arm there but you see how they compare there and here's our revelation trap jaw next to our revelation skeletor except i have that hordak mx head sculpt equipped there as well as our spike ore by revelation masterverse revelation spike ore and then there's our Masterverse Revelation Evil Lynn and I had a second helmet there that I dremeled out the face so you could have an empty helmet there as I've shown before and you can certainly check out the videos that I have on reviews for these figures as well but looking great next to this trap jaw and there's our trap jaw next to our new Eternia Beast Man we just put up a review of him just the other day, so check him out as well. But look at how he towers over Trapjaw here. So the new Eternia 40th Anniversary Beast Man is so cool. And he looks good even beside this Trapjaw. All right. Thank you so much for checking us out for this review. Please come back and see us again for some more Masterverse figures. 
far as we know, Chitara should be coming soon from the Thundercats. And there's other action figures coming along the way. Tune back in, subscribe if you haven't, and check back with us soon. Give us a like if you enjoyed this video, and we'll talk with you next time. Be blessed.